Hey everybody, we are here on the homestead today. It's a beautiful day. Um, and I kind of just wanted to go and do a fruit orchard update. Um, if you have been following our channel, you know that uh, we uh, put in some fruit trees at the end of the winter. Um, we're at about, I'd say a month before spring started, which is a little late, but that's okay. Um, wanted to go ahead and go through and do an update on how those trees are doing. Um, I've seen a lot of green on them. I really haven't shown y'all much. So we're going to go ahead and go through and uh, look at those. So thank you so much for joining us. If you enjoy this video, please give us a like, share, and hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. And here we go. Okay, so first up in this back corner, we're heading that way. This is a pecan. If you can see right here, that is a growing tip. So we can tell that this pecan is growing well. That's really good. Um, let's go ahead and get over to this next one. A lot of these pecans are probably two years old. Okay, here is the next one. This one does not show as many signs of growing, but it does have a nice growing tip on the top. It's got these cute little nodes that have started to come out. So that's good. Get on up here. This one is a uh, methylene plum. I transplanted the other day. It is looking good. Looks like it could use a little water. But it is having some signs of growth. And that again is a methylene plum. Let's come on over to this one. This is another pecan. I'm looking at it. I see a little bit of growth right here where my finger is. Looks like fresh growth. I'm not seeing many other signs, but that's okay. These are new and um, they don't necessarily show signs right away of growth. Another one I recently transplanted. I'm not sure if this one's going to make it. This one is a, uh, I want to say it's an almond. It's not looking great. That one I might have to replace, which we have plenty more fruit cuttings, so should be no problem. Next here we have another pecan. This top looks like a good growing node. I see some signs of more growth down at the bottom. So that's looking good. This one here is a honeysuckle tree, which is rare. I am seeing signs of growth right here next to my finger just a good sign and there's another sign of growth right here next to my finger so I'm very happy about that let's get on over here here's another pecan I'm seeing a good growing node here and here and then the top looks like it's doing okay none up there Cut across this little ravine. And we'll start at the top. Okay. Let's see. This pecan is looking good. I'm seeing some new growing nodes coming out towards the top as well. That's looking good. Next up, I think this is a peach. Let's see. This is actually the Blenheim apricot. And it is putting on leaves. Now, if you can see this, we have had some army worm issues yesterday and I went and I picked off a bunch of them 
um, which is always a good idea if you have any pests that are hanging out with your trees. I'm going to have to come back through here and pick more off. some new growing nodes if you see this uh, this lighter colored stuff and that's good so, let's go ahead and get over to this next one let's see I want to say this is the flavor rich no this is the La Feliciana peach it is growing it's showing signs of growth and uh, if you were with us when we planted these, there was no signs of growth on them when we planted them. So I'm seeing signs of growth along different stems, up this middle area, so that's looking good. I'm trying to see if I see any of the worms on it, and I'm not, so that's good. Next, come over here. Another pecan. Oh yeah, this one's looking really good. It's got new growth here. And up at the top. Looking good. Next up, this is the flavor rich peach. This is looking good. Got new growth here. And on this branch and then this is also part of the peach tree um, I'm not seeing a whole bunch of growth up top which makes me wonder if these limbs uh, died in the freeze the top still has that white center I really just don't know so uh, we'll wait and see what happens either way we do have some growth and if, uh, if the top is dead, then I'll probably end up cutting it off. Here is another pecan. We've got a nice growing tip up at the top. Little growing nodes that have started to form a little farther down. So that's looking good. is June Gold Beach and we are getting some growth here at the top and a little farther down it's looking really good this is the Methley Plum last time I looked I did not see any green but I am seeing a bunch of signs of new growth. Right here. Those nodes are definitely growing. And that's on the whole tree pretty much. Got more here growing. So that looks really good. I've taken a bunch of cuttings off that since the tree came so uh, loaded with stems. Here we have the Tropic Snow Peach. Not seeing any of those army worms on it, but we do have lots of green going on. So that's looking really good. Here we have a Sentinel Peach, and it's got its first blooms. This is the first year it's bloomed. Very pretty. So I'm excited about that. Oh, there's another one. 
We might get some peaches off of it for the first time. Let's see, right over here. This one I believe is an apple. Yes, it's a gala apple. It does have some browning on the tips of the leaves and I'm not exactly sure what that's from. I did pick off a bunch of the army worms yesterday, so I'm wondering if maybe they're damaging it. Um, I'm going to come back in a little bit and pick more of them off because they are pests. Um, hopefully that helps. Sorry, I was pulling some of them off. Okay, this is our next one. This is um, Bartlett pear. It's got some nice growth right here. It's nice and green. Looking good. And then up at the top as well. Looking really good. So I'm happy with that. And this one that sentinel peach tree that had all the flowers or the couple of flowers those have been there since last year so hopefully we will get some kind of fruit off of them this year now what is this i want to say this is moon blown pear yeah this is moon blown pear and it actually is um it actually is one that needs a pollinator and a good pollinator for it is that Bartlett, which the Bartlett is self-pollinating, so it doesn't need this, but I'm glad that we have that other one for it. But it's looking really good. This other one that's kind of new, it's from a um, cutting off the property. It's a uh, Mexican plum. I'm not seeing a bunch of new growth off of it or anything. Now I am still seeing some growing nodes. Like this looks good. Uh, if you can see this, that looks good as well. That red tip is what I'm looking for because that's what the new leaves will come out of. See this grape is putting on new uh, growing nodes. That's good. I'm so happy about that. So I really thought it was dead. This one is as well. This is a new node. Get a good image. Yeah, that looks really good. the sprinkler. Okay, next we're going to come over here to this one. This is an Arosa plum. I'm seeing some of those worms on it. That makes me sad, but I'm also seeing a lot of new green growth. Let me see that. Sprinkler got me right there. I'm going to have to come by in a minute and get all these little worms off again. I pulled them yesterday and then I'll probably end up spraying them with BT um, and see how that does. Let's see. This is, I want to say this is the Granny Smith. Yeah, Granny Smith apple. green up here. It's looking really good. I don't see the worms on this one. Oh, I see one. Right, right there. I'm going to go ahead and get him. Bar pomegranate. I'm super excited about it. So, 
some of my friends have said there's uh, down in Austin have already started uh, putting on leaves. This one has not yet, but I do see some growing nodes that look like they're new. Sorry, my camera doesn't want to focus. Let's see. There we go. If you see it where my pinky is, those growing nodes are all over it. So I'm hoping that means that um, it's going to give us some leaves this year. I really hope that it's alive because we had that really bad freeze and you know sometimes things just die off after a freeze especially pomegranates that are more heat um, loving this is a plum cot that i planted from a cutting it's looking really good I'm very happy with it we got another down here And this is all-in-one almond. It is looking super good. Very happy with this. Um, I don't think I mentioned this a minute ago, but we did get these from uh, Womack Nursery. And these were all bare root. Um, the pecans and the couple that I said I planted from cutting now those are not from Walmart. The pecans I want to say are from Parker County uh, Agricultural um, Division. And then the cuttings we got either off the property or I got them from other trees um, that were already here. So I'd really love to know what y'all think as far as our orchard. Um, do you have any ideas on things that we should add? We do have a couple more spots uh, for trees. Also, if you have any recommendations on like some fertilizer or anything like that that we should be using right now, we are in North Texas Zone 8A, um, Parker County area. And we are new to fruit trees besides that Sentinel peach and the uh, Bartlett pear. So any advice is really appreciated. I mean, everyone's learning. Everyone, uh, you're either teaching or you're learning pretty much. Or you're keeping all that knowledge to yourself. And um, that's just not the type of person that I am. I like to share my knowledge and uh, share things that I learn. Hope to help other people improve their garden and stuff like that. So any advice that you give me, um, of course, if you leave it in the comments, other people that watch this video will get them as well. Um, like I said earlier, I really, really appreciate uh, the subscribers, people that join our uh, channel and that help us improve and learn and share with one another. Uh, feel free to drop your link to your gardening channel in the comments. Uh, that'll help get you some subscribers as well, hopefully. Anyways, uh, we will see y'all next time on Cardwell Farm, uh, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.